Hi, I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 2016 Mazda 6 2.5 liter automatic and I'm going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads, rear rotors, and this also has an electronic rear brake system. But first, what we need to do is we need to disarm the the electronic brakes. I'm going to show you how to do that first. Okay, these are the tools I'm going to be using today to do this job. A hood prop, rubber mallet, vice grip, flat tip screwdriver, another flat tip screwdriver, 14, 13, 10 millimeter wrench. This is a T30 Torx, a T40 Torx, 3 8 ratchet, a Phoenix brake bleeder, a caliper piston compressor, some silicone lube, ceramic grease, anti-seize, dielectric, and a bottle of water with a hole in it. Okay, in order to disarm the electronic brake, what we need to do is start the vehicle. So press the brake pedal, start it up. Right now you see the brake is on. So we're going to uh, disarm it. So right over here, this is the control to activate the electronic brake. So right now it's activated. So what we need to do is just push it down. And now the brake light went off. And that's how, and turn off the engine. And that's how you disarm the emergency brake. So now the electronic parking brake is disabled so you should be able to turn the rotor with your hand so you know it is unlocked so now we're going to be removing this electrical connector that goes on to the electronic brake so there's a little tab over here you push it down and then you pull it out okay. I'm going to be removing this rubber plug for the bleeder screw I'm going to be loosening the bleeder screw. Now I'm going to be removing the two caliper bolts. So the, the pin is spinning, so what I'm going to do is get a vice grip and I'm going to grip the pin. So this one, the inner pin is spinning also. Put it on the side. Okay, we're removing the old pads. Okay, we're going to be removing the caliper mount using a uh, using a 14 millimeter wrench.
So now I'm going to be removing the rotor. This rotor is kind of stuck onto the hub, so I'm going to pound it off. So I'm going to be removing the electronic brake from this caliper. There's two screws right over here. Remove that. That uses a, a Torx 30 bit. One more on this side. Okay, so I removed the two the two screws. So now I'm going to be removing this electronic brake. Just kind of like twist it and pull it up. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be using a, a T40 Torx and I'm going to be stick it right in here and I'm going to be turning it clockwise all the way until it stops. And then just back it off a little, just a very little. Okay, now what we can do is I'm going to squeeze this caliper in. So now with my caliper compressor, I'm going to be sticking in here. And then I'm going to be opening up the bleeder screw to let out all the, all the dirty fluid out as I'm compressing the piston. I'm going to tighten it up. Okay. So now I'm going to be installing the electronic brake. I'm going to be putting a little silicone right around this o-ring just to make it slide in easier. And the excess just wipe it down. So now I'm going to be putting on the electronic brake. And bolt it down. So we'll be tightening down the two screws. And right here. These are the parts I'm going to be using today to do this job. This is a rear brake pads, rear rotors. These are all premium parts. Dot 3 brake fluid and a can of brake cleaner. So this is the rear rotor. It's a coated rotor. Don't remove the coating. What you need to do is just shoot it down with some brake clean in case there's any oil. And just wipe it off. Just wipe off the oil. When you road test this vehicle, you're going to hear a grinding sound. All of this coating eventually is going to come off and then the grinding sound will go away. Then you're good to go. Okay, so before I put the rotor on, I'm going to brush some anti-seize around the hub. That way, next time, it doesn't get stuck. Then, put two nuts on, just so the photo don't wobble around. So we're going to be lubricating the caliper mount. If you notice, this pin is not stuck. It goes in and out really smooth. 
So on this, you don't have to take it apart and regrease it. But what you need to do is where the pads go in, over here, you grease them. But if you notice, there's no metal shims on this mount. The metal shim is on the brake pad. So just lubricate the mount. Now we can install the mount. Okay, so we're gonna be installing the mount with two screws. Okay, there's two different pads. One is going to go on the inside, one is going to go on the outside. The inside pad is the one with this wear indicator in. So if you notice, these pads already, they have metal shims on it. That's why the mounts don't have a shim, so this is the shim. Okay, so I'm going to be putting on some ceramic grease on the back of the pad. Just spread it out. All you need is a light film. Put a little bit on the piston. Some on this caliper. Now we're going to bolt it up with two bolts. Okay, I'm going to be putting some dielectric grease into this connector. Now I'm going to be connecting this to the electronic brake. Okay, now we're going to be bleeding the brakes. 
So now we're going to be removing the brake fluid from the this uh, brake master reservoir. So there's a plastic screen in there we're going to have to remove. And suck out as much as you can. Okay, so I'm going to be pumping fresh fluid from the caliper up to the master. Okay, so I'm going to lock it up. Okay. So I'm going to be removing the whole brake fluid. Remove as much as you can. So I'm going to be filling up the reservoir with some fresh brake fluid. be putting on the screen don't forget to put the screen in yeah okay, I'm gonna start the vehicle now I'm gonna be pumping the brake pedal up and down no more than halfway until I feel pressure so now that feels good so what I'm going to do now with my hood prop, I'm going to be pressurizing the brake system. So one side is going to go against the brake pedal, the other side is going to go against the seat. So I'm going to be opening up this beater screw. Let some fluid out, make sure there's no air in it. Okay, that looks good. Lock it up. Shoot some water on top to neutralize the brake fluid. Blow it down with air. Okay, so I'm going to be pressurizing my pedal one more time and maybe a pressurizer for maybe about another 20 seconds and from there we're going to check the bleeder screw make sure there's no leaks. Okay 20 seconds later looks like it's pretty dry not leaking so now we put the cap on then we can put the tires on and we can road test okay while the engine is on you need to step the hold down the brake pedal and now lift up your electronic brake switch now it's applied you're gonna see that brake light come on the dash now we're gonna flip this switch downwards to release it the brake light went off that light went off so now you're good to go so this is how you replace a rear brake pads rear rotors with an electronic emergency brake if you like to see more of my videos please subscribe give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video Aloha